Hello children. Today we are going to learn about creatures that walked around the earth millions of years ago. These creatures were ancient cousins of today's reptiles like lizards and snakes and crocodiles who are cold-blooded and lay eggs. Some of them were the largest and most terrifying creatures to have ever existed. You guessed it right. Let's welcome the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs get their name from a Greek word which means terrible lizard. Dinosaurs were the main creatures inhabiting planet Earth around 150 million years ago. They became extinct around 65 million years ago. The word extinct means dying out or disappearance of an entire species. But if all the dinosaurs died millions of years ago, how do we know that they ever existed and roamed our earth? Well, children, did you know that in the 1800s, fossils of these dinosaurs were discovered? Fossils means the remains of plants or animals that are well preserved in rocks or stone. These dinosaur fossils were found in every continent on earth. Therefore, we know that dinosaurs lived in all different environments ranging from tropical forests to dry and sandy deserts. Dinosaurs existed in all different sizes. Some dinosaurs were even smaller than chickens and others were 10 times bigger than the largest elephants today. Dinosaurs had bumpy skin and no hair on their body. Some scientists believe that dinosaurs were grey or green in colour which would help them camouflage, meaning blend into their surroundings. Other scientists believe that dinosaurs were bright in colour so that the males could attract the females, much like peacocks do today. There were many different types of dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs were herbivores, which means they only ate plants, and others were carnivores, meaning they only ate other creatures. And yet another type of dinosaurs were omnivores, meaning they ate both plants and creatures. A famous carnivorous dinosaur is called the Trinosaurus rex or the T-rex. The word Trinosaurus rex means tyrant lizard. It was the biggest predator ever to have lived. The T-rex had long teeth which were as sharp as knives. The length of the T-rex was around 40 feet. That's as big as a school bus and it had short front legs and longer back legs. The T-Rex had quite a large brain for a dinosaur. This would have helped him to hunt better. The large parts of its brain helped him to smell and see better. It may also have had telescopic vision. The Petrodon was a huge flying reptile. Petrodons had a small body compared to the size of their wings and head. Their head had a massive crest on the back of the skull. Although Petrodons were large animals, they did not weigh very much because their bones were hollow. The Petrodons used to live around the sea and mostly ate fish and crabs. Triceratops, whose name means tree horned face, is one of the most recognizable dinosaurs. It had two horns above each eye and one horn above its nose. It had a huge frill around its neck. 
the triceratops was powerfully built and was roughly the size of an elephant. It walked on all its fours and had thick legs. It had a short but powerful tail. It also had a beak-shaped mouth. Triceratops may have been a plant eater, but with the three fearsome horns and an armored frill body, it was no pushover. Another well-known herbivorous dinosaur is the Brontosaurus. The name Brontosaurus means thunder lizard. Scientists believe the weight of a brontosaurus was up to 17 tons. That's approximately as heavy as three fully grown African elephants. The length of the brontosaurus was estimated to be around 72 feet. That's approximately the height of seven African elephants standing one on top of the other. Paleontologists or dinosaur scientists believe that the Brontosaurus had a lifespan of up to a hundred years. The last dinosaurs died about 65 million years ago. Scientists still do not agree as to why this happened. Some scientists think that all the dinosaurs died because the temperature on Earth got too hot or too cold for them. Others believe that a huge asteroid collided with the Earth. The collision could have produced dust that blocked the sun's heat and light for months or even years. Plants would have stopped growing and the plant-eating dinosaurs would have died from lack of food. The meat-eaters would have also perished as there were no animals to hunt. But what actually happened still remains a mystery. So children, I hope you enjoyed learning about these fascinating prehistoric creatures called dinosaurs. There are many more animals to learn about in this series. So do keep watching.